this thing to me? You snap into reality and nod it, but then suddenly realize that you are on the call. So just hum slightly. You can hear Mrs. John signing from the other side. I am sorry for troubling you again, but Jungkook is really so sick and troubling me. You can visit him for a while, right? Just made him sleep somehow. Don't worry, mom. I will. You said and hang up. The call. Taking a deep sign, you looked at the time and again let out a deep sign. Grabbing the purse, you walked out. You walked in the room and your eyes got teary when you saw Jungkook sitting on the cold floor with his back supporting with the bed and a bottle of soju in his hands. You can only able to see his back and he was on the other side but can say how messy he was looking right now and without realizing your eyes started to shed tears. You don't know why it is, maybe because you saw him after a whole week and that to be in such a condition or maybe because... You missed him so much, maybe because you are the cause of this pain. Without making any noise, you walked inside the room but he smelled your presence. He looked back and smiled seeing you. Your heart skipped its beat when you saw that bright smile again. Putting the bottle aside, he got up and that's when you realize it's not his first bottle. There are many more he already finished. He walked towards you with his trembling legs and trip, but... Just about to fall but you catch him. Gather yourself. You said and made him sit on the bed. Putting his leg on the bed, you take out his shoes and cover him with the blanket. All the time while you were focused on your work and he was just admiring you. You place your hands on his forehead and gasp as he was burning in fever. You sign. You had fever. Just wait here for a while. I am bringing wet cotton for you. You will feel better. You said and was about to go, but he grabbed your hand. You looked at him. His eyes were swollen. He might cried. The face was puffed up and hairs were messy. Never knew that your absence will affect him like this. Just want to ask you something. Are you real or one of my illusion? Just like every time. You are really here, right? You signed and pinched him, making him his in pain. He looked at you and you signed. It's not a dream. If you are confirmed, then leave my hand. He smiled and sat straight, making you sit in front of him. He smiled. This will always remain your weakness. Grabbing your hand softly in his rough hands, he kisses it softly. It's been a week. How's you doing? Your heart just almost died and eyes filled up. Maybe that's a reason why you never want to see him again. Because you were afraid of changing your decision again. You nodded slightly. Good, you lied. Because you are not even near to good. You thought it would be easy, but it's not. You can't live without him. He become your habit now. Your chest started to itches, but you somehow control yourself. He chuckled and looked down at your hands, piercing the wedding ring with his hand. I should be happy after hearing that you are alright, right? But I am not happy at all. I badly wants you to be sad without me. I might sound selfish, but it's because I can't live without you. I am not happy without you. Day by day, I am dying inside. The empty room, the empty mansion is eating me inside. I am not used to it now. I really want you to think about what you are doing. You can feel the pain of his tearing your heart, but you somehow control yourself. I already think of what I feel like right and you should accept this i am here just because mom told me you should also gather yourself and accept the decision too he looked at you you couldn't see him like this you know that he is a mafia but with you he is the weakest person of your heart he protect you but want you when he gets sick his glands are enough to scare people but still want you around him to feel confident you slowly bring your hand to wipe his tears and slowly kiss his eyes. You are drunk and even tired. Let's talk tomorrow. You had fever. Let me treat you. Is it important to do that when we are still in love? You looked at him while he smiled again. Is he even serious about his words? Why he is smiling even in such pain? Can't we just pull you in a hug because that's what you need the most right now?
You didn't say anything. He said and leave your hand making you a little shocked. But you just look down. The emptiness of not having your hand in his is almost feels like the pain of the day when you left him. You gulp your saliva and got up while he rested his head on headboard and closed his eyes. His body need rest. Taking out a deep sigh, you got up, fixing the blanket you admire him for few second and then walked out the room wiping your tears. Chunko guys also got teary but he quickly wiped it. You walked in the kitchen to make soup for him and signed. The whole kitchen was a mess. You blow your hair from your forehead and signed. There's the reason why you miss me so much Mr. John but I'm not going to forgive you so easily you should know how it feels to get hurt you said and pulling your sleeves up you started to wash the dishes after cleaning the kitchen you boil some water for him and also make his favorite soup no matter how far you both are from each other but there are always a connection between you two placing everything on the plate you walked towards the fridge to take out some milk but scoff when you saw the whole fridge with soju and wine he really find a great way to forget you you walked in the room and closed the door with your leg as both of your hands were busy in grabbing the tray you put the plate on the nightstand and looked at him you smiled slightly seeing him sleeping like a baby while hugging a pillow You admire his face for a while even in mess he don't lose the shine of his face still crossing every limit of handsomeness you brushed his hair back from his forehead dipping the cloth in the warm water you placed that on his forehead he flinched and opened his eyes wide afraid that what if that was a dream when he saw you but then sign in relief when he saw you sitting next to him placing his hand on his forehead he smiled warmly and got up this feels so good here drink this soup you will feel better you said extending the bowl of soup towards him but he pouted making you looked at him with your raised brows without telling you what he need he just opened his mouth and that much is enough for you to catch his words by his actions you signed and started to feed him Every time you bring the spoon to his mouth he stare at you with his intense glance which always make your heart slow down but you somehow control yourself after feeding him the soup you give him the medicine but sign when he open his mouth widely for that too surely he is not going to remember all this by tomorrow you thought and put the medicine in his mouth and he gulped that with water now sleep i am here on the couch if you need anything then call me okay You said and was about to go away but he grabbed your hand. You looked at him and sighed again but he smiled again. The only solution for your anger. Sleep with me. It's not like we are stranger and never sleep together before. And this time you think to forget everything and be selfish. Without wasting a minute you slide yourself in the blanket and hug him tightly. He chuckled and hugged you. It's not the anger, it's sadness and sadness had an end. You walked downstairs slowly and slowly without making any noise but stop when you saw Chunko cooking breakfast in the kitchen he is still looking weak you can see his hands trembling but still his whole focus was on cooking you walked down the stair but who said that people look back only by noises some are connected with hearts too he looked back and smiled the smile you were dying to see for so long since you left him It was your choice but you never knew that it will hurt so much more than the reason you left him for this morning is beautiful like any other sweet morning where you sleep after a tired day and saw him making breakfast he is literally a master in cooking you took a deep breath and walked towards the exit but his voice stopped you let's have breakfast when you are already here You turned to him and saw him focus on his work. You pressed your lips together and looked down, want to stay badly, but if you do, then it's going to be hard for you to leave. I'm getting late. His hand stopped. Looking back at you, he smiled slightly, making your heart skip its beat. Why he smile every time? Didn't he supposed to hate you? to yell at you and to not even look up at you then why he still smiles at you the same with love
He looked at the clock making your eyes follow his glance and it's just 6 a.m. You looked at him and gulped while you heard a chuckle from his side. It won't take much time. You looked down and tried to control your tears but couldn't able to. Slowly and slowly your eyes agreed to shed the tears of pain you were holding all the time. Turning off the flame, he walked to you and softly wiped it away, the tears from your eyes. You looked at him and for the first time you saw tears in his eyes, melting every corner of your heart. It just you know that how much you missed him. Not even a second you didn't think of him. Life without him is so hard for you. You gather yourself, not want to melt again. Looking away, you wipe it your tears. He wiped his tears and took a deep breath. I already made the breakfast for us. Let's have it. He said and walked in the kitchen but stopped when he saw you, still standing at the same place like a statue, shedding tears over tears. It's hard for you to control now. You don't have any real reason to hate him, to leave him. There is bond between you two that connect to your heart but sometimes even small thing can break these fragile relations. He sighed and looked at you. Taking a deep breath, he walked to you and wrapped his arm around you, giving you space to cry. If one week can be this hard, then how about life? Some relations are really not meant to be broken. Don't cry, please. You already cried so much because of me. Not anymore, please. Why are you doing this, huh? Please stop it here. Why am I not allowed to hug my wife who is still in mess? He whispered back, you sign, you really in mess. Because you don't know what you want, you want him, but your actions are not matching your thoughts. Chuckling slightly, you pull away from his warmth. Stop it Jungkook, stop being all nice and good to me when you never cared about me. You are doing all this, being sick and now this breakfast, all to make we stay here. I know you better. Then how you don't know that I can't live without you? You scoffed and looked at him while with those hurtful eyes. Really, I thought that it's a burden. Dare you to call this marriage a burden, John Wyan? I never give you this much right. You looked at him and his dark eyes turned into a death glance at you. It's so rare to see him like this, in anger, even if both of your marriage is just a part of a business, even when you both never had courage to confess, but your action speaks better. This marriage is only the happiest thing happened with me. Will you care to tell me the real reason for this sudden change? I don't even know why we are doing all this. If it's for being happy, then I can tell that you are not happy with your own decision. You gulp and looked at him. Can't you just pretend like you don't know me so that I can leave? I was here just because mom tell me she couldn't able to control you and you are sick. Why? You even care. Even if we get divorced, will you run to me like this over and over again if I get sick? Just tell me the exact reason that business partnership can never be the real reason for this divorce. You can't leave me for such a useless reason. You want to stay with me, that's why you still had the wedding ring on. Stop it, stop lying to yourself and to me, John Wyan. We are happy. You looked at him and scoffed. Happy? You call it a happiness? I don't even know what my husband do, what with him. Why he always come home wounded, where he is, with whom he is. You call it a happiness. I want to go and you let me go, that's great of you, Mr. John. You said and pushed him back. He scoffed and looked at you. I will tell you to shoot yourself one day and you will do that too. Have you ever tried to know why I suddenly decided to have divorce? Did you ever try to know the real reason behind it? You can take out your this pain by over drinking, just like you did last night. But what about me? Should I start it to drink too? Will that be fine with you? Why you never ask me to explain my actions? He didn't say anything and was just looking at you with a little smile on his face because he knows that you never had a real reason to do all this. Some relation can be affected by only simple small thing. We don't need big reason to break a relation. No matter how tight the bond between the couples are, but 
no one can deny the fact that love is the most fragile thing and if one person is getting affected by this then other should stay strong for both you are always like this i never understood who even made you a mafia care to tell me why you never stopped me is it that easy to live without me i will leave this mafia thing your heart skip its beat you looked at him and this time he don't have that bright smile on his face just a straight face with lots of hidden emotions you girl don't need any other explanation to know how much he loves you or how easy it is for him to live without you if he is ready to leave this mafia job for you then he can do anything to be with you you gulp and looked at him what i know you don't like seeing me wounded every time i come home i know how scared you might be after seeing me almost dead i can understand everything the pain and the emotion and i never stopped you because i want to give you time to think that we both are nothing without each other even if it's just a business but believe me i never even love myself as much as i love you i just thought to give you some time to think that getting divorced can never be the solution when we both still love each other but i never thought that it will hurt this much i was involved in this mafia world because it was my father wish to see our gang again as number 1 mafia gang of korea after his death it was my responsibility to do that we are not really bad people we even provide help to kia but i won't do it if you don't like it You are making me sick. Ready to give me time. Ready to leave the mafia world. Ready to break your dad's promise. But all this time, you never even once bring the topic that you will not get hurt again. Are you even serious? You won't understand my emotion. Why only you? Last time, I almost lose you. You even know how scared I was. It better to live alone with your memories rather than seeing you hurt daily. That's the only thing I think that time. I talked to mom and she told me that we really need time. You know what time means? You want to go away from the person. You don't want to be with them for some time. But that's not what I want. I want you to be safe. I don't have any problem with your work, but I can't see you getting hurt. I love you and I love you too. He replied quickly. He scoffed and looked at him while he smiled again. Ah uh, How can you smile at such a serious moment? We are about to get divorced. Are not you scared, huh? You are not guilty. He chuckled and walked closer to you, wiping your tears. He kissed your forehead softly. I would like to die instead of giving you divorce. This hard rock heart need his wife so close to him to make it soft. It feels lifeless without you. You know. You pouted and again hit him on his chest, making him hiss in pain. But smile, seeing you smiling, you scoffed. Why you can never be so serious, John Wayne? You are not going to leave me, right? And this time you can feel pain in his voice. Smiling slightly, you shook his head. I would never even think to leave you. It's just mom who gave me this idea so that you can understand that not everything is funny. Fear is the most fearful thing, and you should afraid too. Not for yourself, but for your loved ones. Understand? I would like to die than living without you. He chuckled and hugged you. That's a relief. I'm sorry to make you worried. I will never do that again. I promise. You nodded. Just suddenly sneezed hard. Jungkook broke the hug and looked at you. You looked at him and smiled, and he smiled too. Now I think it's my turn. We can never really live without each other.